Welcome to another episode of Whiskeys. So we're going to ask you a question. How long should you let whiskey sit in the glass before you taste it? Should you drink it right away? Or should you let some time go by in order for all of those notes to come forward? Well, we're going to find out today. We're going to do a test run to see if it tastes different over time, if you're going to get different flavor notes from it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use Buffalo Trace bourbon, which is a very good bourbon. This is a Buffalo Trace Distillery staple bourbon. And in this bourbon, it's very complex. As you can see, it's that, that uh, deep amber, amber, the color of it. But the flavor notes is vanilla mint. You're going to get a lot of those, the toffee. Uh, some people get those deep fruit notes in there. It's truly a good whiskey, caramel, vanilla, traditional bourbon notes, but it's very, it has a lot of depth to it. It's not a high proof bourbon, so it, it does smoothen out as you sip it. But this is one we'll be using to see if the whiskey changes in time. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna pour in the first glass first, and then we'll cork it, and then we put it in the next glass and see if anything happens. So let's go ahead and get that cork pop. That was decent. This one's here. That one there. And then we'll give it about five minutes or so. Five minutes later. All right, so we'll try another one here. We'll give it another five minutes. Five minutes later. Five minutes later. All right, so this next one here is a fresh pour. So that's what we're gonna do. We are going to start from the fresh pour five minutes later, 10 minutes later, and then 15 minutes, right? So let's go ahead and give it a shot and see if there's any difference in tasting notes, flavor, viscousness, finish, or if it's pretty much the same within 15 minutes. So is it even worth waiting 15 minutes or 10 minutes or five minutes? Or should you just drink it right from the fresh crack? Well, let's find out. Man, this is a delicious bourbon. It's very good. Um, yeah, that's very good. So on a smell, I get that um, the caramel, the toffee, a little bit of toffee. Vanilla, and that really translates in the palate, right? You get the caramel, the toffee, the vanilla on that first sip from the fresh crack, no, well, from the fresh pour. A little wood, a little oak. Okay, so that's delicious. Does it change five minutes later? Let's find out. See, I don't know. Um, it may be a little less ethanol than the second one. This one has more ethanol in it, but not probably nothing very noticeable, but you can definitely feel the difference. Same tasting notes. You're gonna get the vanilla, the toffee, the caramel. Um, smell. Actually, the smell kind of left in the second glass. Hmm. Oh, you know what it is? I forget. It's the style of glass. I'm using. The, this is the Glen Karen, and this is that's why the smell left. So this doesn't count. Probably the next two are gonna be. The smell is gonna fall off tremendously. 
because it's not necessarily waffled as a, a good sniffing glass, a good snifter. But the taste is, is very similar. A little bit less ethanol, but not by much. Probably not noticeable for most people. But I think I, I think that could be my mind playing tricks on me too. So, all right, let me go to the third glass. So this will be ten minutes later. So does letting the whiskey sit in the glass ten minutes later make a difference? Well, let's find out. Yeah, I can't really get a good nose on this one. I mean, I still smell that vanilla in there. That's the only thing I can get out of this particular glass because it's kind of tulip, tulipy, a tulipy. <laughs> this one is tulipy. You can't really get the. That's an inside Saturday Night Live joke. We will be prepared for possible tulipy. <laughs> All right, let's see if the tasting notes are similar. Yeah, this one is softer, right? So this one is softer. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it is. It's a softer whiskey within 10 minutes. So it, it docile down. So if you're looking for a smoother sip so far, it does seem like it does make a difference to let, let the whiskey sit in the glass and aerate, so to say. And this is a good aeration glass too, by the way, because the way it's tulip, so it allows the fumes to kind of come out. Uh, yeah, so, so far, uh, slight difference. And you can definitely tell the difference between this one and, let me see. Yeah. This is a stronger flavor. This is a softer flavor, right? So, as some would say smooth, this is a smoother whiskey right here. So we're gonna go to the one that's been sitting for 15 minutes. Let's see. Yep, so I can definitely because of the glass, I can get those those notes that, that caramel and that toffee, vanilla, and I can smell the wood, that oak. So let's see if this makes a difference between 15 minutes to right out the glass, right out the uh, yeah, bottom. Yep. It is. It's crazy. It does make a difference. <laughs> this is like drinking. Well, it's already a light whiskey, but it's like drinking water. Now. Yeah, that's crazy. So right away, this one is stronger. This one is smoother. It's lighter. The flavor notes are there. But if you're looking for a more robust flavor, if you're looking for the flavor like punch you right out the gate, a fresh crack will probably be your jam. Uh, but if you're looking for something to kind of smoothen out a little bit more, those edges, let it aerate a little bit more, let it sit out, let the air flow through it, and then it will taste a lot softer, a lot smoother. So 15 minutes is probably going to be your jam if you want a very smooth sip. If you want a more robust sip right out the glass, even if it's a uh, lower proof whiskey, you're going to get more of the flavor notes right out the, the glass, at least from my tasting. And you may you may find something different when you try it, but it does seem like it did get a little bit lighter and lighter with time. The smell in these two glasses, these particular snifters or Glen Cairns, you're going to get more uh, smelling notes. These ones, because of the way they're designed, it's not necessarily designed for smelling. But these are a gift uh, by, by a friend of ours. And so I appreciate the gift, guys. Mo and Denisha, thank y'all for the gift. But I would say my preference, because it is a lower proof bourbon, I would probably go with this one, right? Because it, you, you get more of the flavor notes. It is a little bit more robust. But if you're looking for something a little bit more docile from the 90 proof whiskey. Now, this was a cast strength. It'll probably be completely different for me. I'll probably like this one more. It, 
because it'll be a little bit more docile. Not the heat, probably not as there, but it is a light whiskey. So, all right. So that's my take. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have you tried this before? Maybe you'll try letting your whiskey sit in the glass. Have you have you noticed the difference? Or what do you think about this particular thing? Do you think it's a is it all in my mind? But well, actually, I honestly do think there's a complete difference from here to here, and I can taste it. I wish I would have labeled it on the bottom to blind it to see which one um, is the latter pour. But yep. All right. So that's that take. Thank you guys for joining the Whiskey Eats. Like we always say, please drink moderately and responsibly. Y'all have a good day.